morning from the Drayton Manor Resort here in Staffordshire, UK here and today we're back for another day. Basically all the attractions are reopened apart from a select few which are either on temporary delay or temporary maintenance at the moment uh, or just closed just due to COVID-19. But today we're joined by Coaster Jens. Hello. Jensen from Coaster Jens. <laughs> um, Jensen's got a season pass as well. Yep. We've both got a season pass and we're just going to go and collect his season pass which is just over here. And uh, yes, I'm going to have a wonderful day around the park. Very excited to get back on Apocalypse and Maelstrom back in this park. Two of my favourite attractions in this whole park. Let's go round Derrick Manor. After a fantastic ride there on one of my favourite rides in this park, Maelstrom, the Intamin gyro swing at this park. Honestly, it's fantastic. I think it's so good. One of my favourite rides and I just think it's brilliant to be honest. But we're going to head up to Air Race and go and ride on Air Race in the park. Uh, uh, one of uh, Zamperla, um, like Air, it's a Zamperla Air Race, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, what did you, that was your first time on Maelstrom? Yeah, that was the first time. I cannot believe I've never done that before. That was really good. It is good. It's got some great air time, especially when you're hanging up there. But we're now going to go on to Air Race here at Drayton Manor. And I'm very excited to go back on this today. Uh, it's one of my favourite rides here. I think it's so good. And let's go on to Air Race here at Drayton Manor. Let's go. <laughs> Fantastic ride again on Maelstrom, no not Maelstrom, on the Air Race. Air Race, such a good ride in this park. Definitely a great ride, definitely queue it if you want to do it. Uh, it does spin your head around, it makes you feel a bit sick at some points of it. But it's a really good flat ride and if you like your intense flat rides, that's a ride for you. But Jensen, did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was really, really good. Good, good, good. Not good. that keen on the restraints though. No, the a bit bulky. restraints are a bit bulky, they're a bit, yeah, it, a bit Zamperla, but hey ho. But Bounty Pirate Ship looks busy, queue-wise, don't it? Not that You're not doing that? <laughs> oh, we got to do that as well. Oh yeah, because they've got like an extension queue coming out here. So yes, uh, we're going to head up to Best Ride on Park, Apocalypse, uh, to go and ride that. Possibly do it, uh, depending on, have a look at the queue, whether sit down or stand up's better. If stand up's got a smaller queue, we're going to do that first. Yeah. You've never done it, you've never done it stand up, no. or stand up with no floor. I've only sit. Yeah, that's going to be even more fun. But yeah, we're going to head up to Apocalypse, special ride on this park, and let's go and have a great day, even more, here at Drayton Manor. Let's go. It's now time for Apocalypse. We're going to do it stand-up, because it looks like the same amount of queue, to be honest, but stand-up has no queue. Woot woot. What do I do? Stand-up with no floor, or stand-up with floor? <laughs> let's do stand-up with floor, and go on to Apocalypse. Let's go. no floor which um, was quite daunting uh, but it was really really good not as painful as I remember it so we went on to apocalypse and we did stand up with no floor and honestly one of the best rides I've had uh, on that ride it was so good weren't it Jensen yeah, it's really <laughs> it was good. you've never done it with no floor no. Uh, no, with floor I've never done standing up there you go but it was good wasn't it very very good not scary though when she oh, when no. she dropped <laughs> very scary at the top though oh god it was wasn't it yeah but yes we're gonna go on to share a showdown now it's because it's you've got a bonus <laughs> let's go on to share a showdown time for you got a bonus ah I don't know if we're allowed to film on this, but I'm going to film them anyway. Uh. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, you're winning, Jensen, by the way. You got a bonus! 
Yay! You got a bonus! But yeah, let's uh, continue. Yay! You got a bonus! <laughs> let's keep going, guys. Another ride, then on to another. <laughs> You're right. Uh, we're going on to Drunken Barrels here. This is a really intense spinning, uh, spinning ride. You're going to have fun on this. <laughs> um, let's go on to Drunken Barrels. Actually, I think we'll be on the next cycle, actually. Let's go on to Drunken Barrels. And look, look, there's Sean's spinning sausage, everyone. Let's go on to uh, Drunken Barrels. It's now time for stand-up. We've just done uh, Drunken Barrels. That was really sickly, but hey-ho. It's time for Drunken Barrels. Let's go. Sit down this time. Um, as we just did stand up, we thought, why not? Let's do do sit down. Don't know what the the cue difference is. There's looks a bit. It's a longer cue, but look, sit that stand up with no floor has no cue. So yeah, let's go do that. Right, we're gonna actually go do stand up with no floor. Let's go. After two rides now on Stand Up No Floor Apocalypse, as it was walk on cue, uh, we've just walked over to here and we may do Storm Force 10. Maybe. May I've never done it. <laughs> I've done it once. You've done it once. Got and very wet. I think it's going to be a soaker. <laughs> yeah. um, but Jensen's prepared, I'm not. <laughs> so. Got a poncho, spare, change your clothes. There you go. But... There's, there's a planned person to a theme park right there, unlike me. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to get wet on this, but yeah. it's going to be a good ride. And uh, let's go on to uh, Storm Force 10 here at uh, Dragon Manor. We're actually going to have a quick look if people are getting wet before we go on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if people are getting soaked, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's go on to uh, possibly Storm Force 10. Now, unlike Jake, I think I'm prepared. I've got a point a really soaking wet ride there on Storm Force 10. They did ask us to go on the back row, but we were like, no, we're not going on back row. It is absolutely a soaker. We had uh, some people who were behind us who then went on the back row of the car in front because we didn't want to go on back row, and they got drenched from head to toe. Right, too and they didn't wear like a, a poncho or anything. No, we um, just saw the reaction from the wave just come over. Um, it, was, it was mental, but uh, I've never done that before, and it was soaking wet, and let's just say, the smaller drops on that, are more wet than the massive one at the end. Yeah. So yeah, just uh, don't don't um, like don't think that that backwards drop you're not going to get wet because you will get soaked. Yeah. But, yeah, Make sure you wear a poncho on that. Yeah. Um, Jensen had uh, his thought part poncho across our legs because we didn't get soaked. Yeah. But yeah, good ride. Yeah, really good ride. Good ride. Yeah, that was a great ride on Storm Force 10. Hopefully we'll try and get more rides on that this season as I have a season pass. So yeah, let's continue round Dragon Manor. Let's go. Really good ride there on the accelerator. How long wait was it? About 20 minutes? Yeah. 20 minute wait. Do not like think the queues are long because of uh, everything outside the front. Just go and queue it and it should be all right. Yeah, we're just outside Pandemonium. Pandemonium's got a long queue, but I think we're going to do stand up again. Stand up apocalypse. Let's go. So 
we've just had a painful but good ride on uh, Pandemonium here at Drayton Manor. And uh, Jensen, did you enjoy Pandemonium? First no, ride? No? I didn't at no. All. What's uh, the problem about that ride? Um, when you go upside down and then they hold you upside down, it's just painful. It is. Really painful. It is painful. It really hurts on your shoulders. But the rest of the ride is quite good. It's good. It's got a good ride. I think it's quite good. Apart from the restraints, which hurt your shoulders really badly. But we're going to head up into Thomas Land, have a walk around Thomas Land, see what the queues are like. Because if Buffalo is busy, Thomas Land is going to be mentally busy. So we're gonna have a wander around here and possibly I think we should go on the uh, go to the zoo actually. Yeah. Shall we go to the zoo? Yeah. Yeah, let's go continue around uh Thomas on today. And they've extended ride clothes to five o'clock. <laughs> Jensen taking in the zoo. He's learning. He's filming. Here we can see a Jensen from Coast of Jens filming a video in his natural habitat, a zoo slash theme park. But yeah, we've just seen what what is it? A spider? What is it called? A monkey. Something monkey. Just swing across here, and I didn't get we didn't get our cameras out quick enough, <laughs> did we? It's up there now. Still there. Oh yeah, you can just see him there. I don't I don't have a zoom on this camera, so I can't. I can buy a zoom, but I don't want to buy that. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, continue around. There's not many really, in all the cages, the animals, it, they say there are animals in there, but there's no animals, which is a bit confusing. But let's continue on here in uh, Greater Manor Zoo. We didn't go to Tom's Land, it was busy, but we're gonna get the train, woo woo. No, that's it. So we're about to go on the, the train here at Great Manor. It's going to be fun. I, I liked coming on this last time. It's quite fun. Uh, Jensen, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> fun times. But yeah, we're going to go on to the train now and uh, have a good ride into uh, Thomas Land. And actually have a walk around Thomas Land this time. <laughs> yes, uh, and let's go. On the train. Um, right, the red train's driving us today, not the blue one. That's Thomas. Blue one's Thomas, isn't it? Yeah. The green one's Percy. James. There we go. Right, let's go. To Thomas land. Let's go. <laughs> After we went on the train in Thomas Land, we headed, we did go into Thomas Land, but Thomas Land was God knows how busy. And if you're coming to Drayton Manor, I just expect Thomas Land to be busy. But all the other rides that are not Thomas Land are quite ishly quiet apart from Buffalo. Buffalo's mentally busy. But Jensen has just got this lunch. Oh, like food? And what did you have? I had chicken nuggets and curly fries with a slush. Yeah, and it was originally £5 something. Yeah, but the season pass took it to £4. Pounds. Yeah, as we both had season passes, but technically we're not allowed no. discount on our passes. <laughs> but they give us discount. I'll oh, give Jensen discount. And uh, only worked out about £4 something. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to head up to uh, Apocalypse again now, but we're going to do sit down this time. Mm -hmm. Yes, and. Uh, Let's go up to Apocalypse. So one of the attractions that is closed for COVID-19 is The Haunting. The Drayton uh, Green uh, Vicarage. It's such a good ride. It's the Vacoma Madhouse. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like Hex at Alton Towers. Uh, swinging room, which is quite cool. And uh, 
it's a shame because this is a really good ride and it's not as good as Hex as me and Janta were just saying, weren't we? Mm -hmm. It's not as good, but yeah. it's still a good ride though. It is good and as Jensen said it is hidden. This ride you could literally walk right past it. But hey ho, this should be reopening soon. If Hex is just reopened, we should be going back into the haunting very soon. <laughs> So we are now on the train, which uh, goes around like uh, the area by Splash Ca the old Splash Canyon, uh, Shockwave, uh, Air Racing, etc., and Storm Force 10. Uh, as uh, Maelstrom has a really long wait, so we thought, why not? Let's go onto the train. As it was literally pulling into the station, and Jensen said, "Oh, let's go onto uh, the train." So we're gonna we went onto the train, and uh, yeah, currently uh, here. There's the uh, Splash Canyon Rapids entrance right over there. It's a shame, I really want to get on Shockwave soon. It's one of my favourite coasters in this country. And uh, yes, it's amazing. Especially that zero G roll. That zero G roll is really forceful, but hey ho, we're going to uh, continue on round straight. So here's the site for G Force. Literally nothing on there. Hopefully, some new. Uh, stuff will be coming on that land and we'll be talking about the management and everything that's happened at this park and i don't know if you've just seen on that board there it said g4 photo point but yeah uh hopefully hopefully something new very soon so here's a look at all the social distancing markers in this park there is uh like a footprints and where not to stand is uh, like a, a white stop like a, uh, a yellow, not white, a yellow uh, line through it. So yeah, it's quite simple and easy. Just stand on the white feet. You should be all right. Right. After another good ride there on the Intamin Gyro Swing, which is known as Maelstrom, such a fantastic ride. But one difference we did think of is the cycle was a bit yeah, shorter. shorter. It was a lot shorter. Like last time, this morning it was really it was running really well and we had a lot of swinging action but it looks like it yeah uh, it it's was just a lot busier as the day's gone yeah to, on. one thing we are we have realized is the mornings are a lot quieter than the afternoons the afternoon here like we haven't we we've not bothered with anything in thomas land today no, it's just, just way too busy it's too busy like if you have your kids come to thomas land and everything like that but one thing you got to realize is it's going to be busy so just be careful with uh, the virtual queues i just don't know what's going on with yeah them. they're not running which like on a busy day they should be because they should and hey ho we're gonna we're gonna try buffalo again and see what the queues like on that so let's go so sadly well not sadly but uh we've lost a coaster in this uh in this country and it was g-force the marathon uh, X car coaster and I never actually I oh, know wait I don't know I think I did it and I can't remember if I did or not but it was here and it's a shame to see this gone now because this uh, is a coaster in this park which was here for a few years oh god it's windy um yeah it was here for a few years and it sadly got uh, end of its run at the end of the 2018 season and it, it got dismantled at Christmas this uh, last year and uh, yeah, it's a shame to see this site empty, but if you don't know recently, uh, Drake Manor was in the news for being uh, for potentially going into administration, but they never went into administration um, because uh, the Looping Group bought them, who own many parks in this country, such as Pleasurewood Hills and West Midland Safari Park. So we hope to see investment on this site in the future. Oh, I feel like this is going to tip over. I'm sorry, but it, uh, yeah, I hope to see investment in the future when uh, this park becomes further. But what would you like to see on this site? Um, not really sure. <laughs> I think a Mac, a Mac uh, launch coaster would be great here. Uh, you could have, like Icon, have it into the airtime hill here. You could easily have a clone of Icon. Yeah. We could, we could, yeah, we could easily have a clone of Icon. Should we get yeah, that? Like a top hat here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah easy. A uh, version here, yeah, barrel here. But yeah, that's uh, talking about Looping Group and Drayton Manor's future, but hopefully we see a bright future for Drayton Manor in the uh, future to come. So we had a great uh, time today. We just had a final ride on Apocalypse. We also had a, a ride on, um, oh, we've, oh, we've done many more rides, yeah. Um, 
<laughs> but yeah, we've had a great day today, honestly. Uh, great ride off. I think my only problem today was I didn't get to ride Shockwave, but that's understandable. It's under maintenance at the moment. Hopefully, we'll be back up and running in the next few weeks or so. But yes, Jensen, you've now been in a theme park Jake video now. Yeah, it's been it's really, really good. Had Thank a, you. Had a good day? A very, very good day, actually. Uh, Favourite ride of the day? Apocalypse. Apocalypse stand up or sit down? I just, I've got to say sit down just because of the fact that when you stand up there's just a terrible pain on Yeah, face. if you're a man you'll know where the pain is um, <laughs> Yes, thank you for watching uh, Oh yeah, actually, wait a minute My favourite ride was Apocalypse, yeah <laughs> But I, I kind of would prefer sit down, yeah But yeah, thank you for watching a Theme Park Jake vlog We'll see you next time here on the Theme Park Jake YouTube channel Go and subscribe to our YouTube channel And also go and follow us on Instagram We'll see you next time here on the Theme Park Jake YouTube channel And goodbye